All right, buckle up, folks, because we are about to embark on a journey towards living your best life. If you're ready to level up and find fulfillment like you've never experienced before, then you are in the right place. This video is packed with tips and advice that will help you crush your goals, build meaningful relationships, and trust in God's plan for your life. So let's get started and make some serious progress towards the life you've always dreamed of. And make sure to download using the show notes right below your free guide to unlock meaning in your life today. How do you become fulfilled? Well, the first step to becoming fulfilled is put God first. If you want to live your best life, you must put God first. The quality of your relationship with him defines the level of fulfillment you will experience. Jesus taught his disciples, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. It was only when they followed this commandment that they stopped being afraid and started following God's plan for them. You know, our faith is the foundation of our lives and it's what gives us purpose. It gives us hope, direction in a world that can often feel confusing and chaotic. Without faith, it's difficult to find true fulfillment. That's why it's so important to take intentional steps to strengthen your faith on a regular basis. So how can you strengthen your faith? Well, there are a few things that you can do. First and foremost, consistent prayer and Bible study are essential. Spending time in prayer each day and reading the Bible regularly can help you connect with God deepen your understanding of his word and gain wisdom and insight for your life. Secondly, regular attendance at church. Being part of a community of like-minded believers can help you feel supported, encouraged and connected to something bigger than yourself. And finally, it's important to surround yourself with positive like-minded individuals who share your values and beliefs. That's why I love being part of a church small group. This can help you stay focused on your faith and avoid distractions or negative influences that can pull you away from what truly matters. Number two, get clear on your purpose. Having a sense of purpose is what gives us direction and motivation in life, you know? It's what helps us feel fulfilled and satisfied with the work that we are doing and gives us a reason to get up each morning. Roy T. Bennett said, If you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. Your passion will drive you there. But sometimes finding your purpose can be tough, right? It can feel daunting, especially if you're not sure where to start. So how can you find your purpose? One way is to identify your strength and passions. What are you naturally good at? What do you love doing? When you combine your strength and passions, you'll likely find that you have a unique set of skills and talents that can be used to make a positive impact in the world. And another tip for finding your purpose is to think about how you can use those strengths and passions to help others. Whether it's through your career, volunteering or other activities, finding ways to use your gifts to serve others can be incredibly fulfilling and rewarding. To quote Mark Twain, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. And finally, don't forget to pray for guidance and clarity. Ask God to reveal his plan for your life and be open to opportunities and challenges that come your way. Remember that your purpose may not always be clear, but if you stay faithful and open to his leading, you will eventually find your way. Number three, balance career and personal life. You know, we all have multiple responsibilities and demands on our time, whether it's our career,
career, it's family, it's friends or other commitments. But it's important to make sure that we are not neglecting any one area of our lives at the expense of others. Brian Dyson, the former CEO of Coca-Cola once said, Imagine life as a game in which you are juggling some five balls in the air. You name them work, family, health, friends and spirit. And you're keeping all of these in the air. You will soon understand that work is a rubber ball. If you drop it, it will bounce back. But the other four balls, family, health, friends and spirit are made of glass. If you drop one of these, they will be irrevocably scuffed, marked, nicked, damaged, or even shattered. They will never be the same. You must understand that and strive for balance in your life. There are just 24 hours in the day and you must decide how to spend each of them to focus on the important elements in your life. So how can you find balance between your career and personal life? First and foremost, it's important to set boundaries and prioritize your time. This means being intentional about how you spend your time and making sure that you're not constantly overworked or burning the candle at both ends. Be realistic about what you accomplish in a given day or week and don't be afraid to say no to commitments that don't align with your priorities. Secondly, make sure to make time for self-care and relaxation. This can mean different things for different people. Maybe it's reading a book, taking a bubble bath or going for a run. Whatever it is that helps you feel refreshed and rejuvenated, make sure to prioritize it as part of your routine. And finally, don't neglect your relationships with loved ones. It's easy to get caught up in the demands of work and other commitments. But relationships with family and friends are crucial to a fulfilling life. Make sure to carve out the time for quality time with loved ones, whether it's a regular date night with your spouse or weekly call with your friends. All right? Number four, pursue your dreams. Now let's shift our focus to pursuing your dreams. Whether it's a career, change, starting a business or pursuing a passion project, it's never too late to pursue your passions. But taking the leap can be scary, especially when there are so many unknowns. So how can you pursue your dreams with confidence? The first step is to set realistic goals and create a plan of action. This means breaking down your larger goal into smaller one, more manageable steps that you can take action every day. By focusing on what you can do right now, you can build momentum toward your larger goal and avoid feeling overwhelmed. Secondly, take small steps towards your goal every day. Even if it's just spending 15 minutes working on your project or reaching out to someone for advice, every step counts. Consistency is key and over time, these small actions will add up to big progress. Lastly, have faith and trust in God's plan for your life while pursuing your dreams can be challenging, it's important to remember that God has a plan for your life. So lean on your faith and trust that God is guiding you towards the path that is right for you. Number five, take care of your physical health. It's easy to neglect our health when you're busy with work or other responsibilities. But the truth is our physical health can have a big impact on our overall well-being and sense of fulfillment. So what can you do to prioritize your physical health? Well, firstly, get regular exercise and physical activity. This doesn't have to mean you're running marathons or hitting the gym every day. No, even a short walk can make a big difference. Find physical activities that you enjoy and make them a regular part of your routine. Secondly, eat a healthy and balanced diet. This means incorporating plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains into your meals. Avoid processed and high sugar foods and aim to eat in moderation. Thirdly, get enough sleep and rest. 
it's important to prioritize sleep and ensure that you're getting enough rest to allow your body to recover and recharge. By taking care of your physical health, you can feel more energized, focused, fulfilled in all areas of your life. So make sure to prioritize your health and well-being. Number six, develop yourself. You know, investing in your personal growth and development can help you become the best version of yourself. It's all about discovering our strength, overcoming our weaknesses, and pursuing our passions. Personal growth and development can bring a sense of fulfillment and purpose to our lives. Yes, it does. So what can you do to invest in personal development? Well, there are a few things that you can try. For instance, read books. I am a big lover of reading, listening to podcasts, and also um, listening to audiobooks. This can be a great way to gain new insight and knowledge and to expand your perspective. Also, I encourage you to attend workshops and conferences and meet like-minded individuals and learn new skills and gain valuable experience. Seek out mentors or coaches who can guide you and support you. And lastly, try new things and step outside your comfort zone because this is a great way to push yourself and discover new strength and new abilities. Investing in yourself is an investment in your future. So take the time to invest in your personal growth and development and watch it as positively impacts all areas of your life. Again, I want to stress this number seven, make time for rest. And you know what? It's really important for our physical, mental, and spiritual health. It's rest. It's what helps us recharge our batteries, reduce stress, and gain a fresh perspective on life. But with our busy schedules, it can be tough to prioritize rest. So how can we do that? Well, set aside each week one day to rest. This means <clears throat> intentionally taking a day off from work and responsibility to focus on relaxation and reflection. And to quote Benjamin Hardy and Dan Sullivan, recovery is crucial for being fresh, operating at your best, as well your career and life longevity. That's why Dan encourages the business people he's coached for many decades to segment their time to, to 10x their productivity. Number one, free days. So these days are the days you relax, you recover, then you have focus days, and then you have buffer days. And they urge us to make recovery our priority, suggesting to take 150 plus free days every year. Yes, 150. That's what Dan is doing. Secondly, unplug from technology and distractions during rest time. Put away your phone, laptop, and other devices and instead focusing on activities that bring you joy and relaxation. And last but not least, don't forget to spend some time in nature or doing activities that bring you joy and rejuvenate your soul. You could go for a walk in the park, read a book, or hang out with your loved ones. Whatever it is that helps you relax and recharge, make sure to prioritize it. And trust me, It'll do wonders for your overall being. Yes, and happiness. Remember that rest is a gift from God and an important part of our overall well-being. It's not a luxury or an indulgence. No, it's a necessary part of a healthy and fulfilling life. So by prioritizing rest and Sabbath, we can reduce stress, gain perspective, and ultimately find greater fulfillment and joy in our lives. So make sure to prioritize rest. Number eight, build meaningful relationships. As human beings, we thrive on connections we make with others. And building meaningful relationships with others can bring immense joy and fulfillment to your life. Here are some tips for cultivating those relationships. First, invest time and effort in cultivating close relationship with family and friends. Spend regular time with them. Prioritize communication and open dialogue with loved ones. Be honest and open in your interactions and encourage others to do the same. And thirdly, practice empathy and active listening in your interactions with others. Because truly listen to what others have to say and try to understand their per perspective. This 
makes wonders. Number nine, trust God's plan. As Christians, we believe that God has a unique plan and purpose for each of our lives. However, it can be difficult to trust in His plan, especially when things don't seem to be going the way we hoped. But the truth is, trusting in God's plan is the key to living a fulfilling life. In the book of Proverbs it says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do and He will establish your plans. Let me give you some tips for doing just that. Number one, make prayer a regular part of your life. Seek God's guidance and wisdom in all that you do and ask Him to reveal His plan for your life. Practice surrendering control. You know, it can be tempting to want to take matters into our own hands. But when we surrender control to God, we allow Him to work in our lives in ways we never could have imagined. And look for signs of God's presence and guidance in your life. It could be a chance encounter with someone who inspires you, a scripture that speaks to your heart, or a sense of peace that you feel in a difficult situation. Even when things don't go as planned, God is working all things for our good. Trust that He has a bigger and better plan than we could ever imagine. And finally, trust that God's plan for your life is ultimately for your highest good and fulfillment. It may not be always easy, but when we trust in His plan, we can live a life filled with purpose and joy. So before we close, I want to leave you with this. Fulfillment is not a destination. It's a journey. It's an ongoing process of growth and progress. It requires hard work, dedication, and willingness to push past your limits. But it's also incredibly rewarding. When you live a life of purpose and meaning, you feel alive, you feel fulfilled, and you feel like you're making a difference in this world. So I encourage you to take action today. Start by identifying the areas of your life where you want to experience more fulfillment. Then make a plan and take action. Surround yourself with positive, like-minded individuals who will support you on your journey. And never forget that greatness is within reach. And to make this path easier, please make sure to download your Unlock Meaning Guide using the show notes below. It will help you apply that step by step. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for commenting. Please leave a comment telling us how you find fulfillment in your life. And thank you for your likes, your subscribes, and I'll see you in the next one.